The year was 1993. I had taken over the family business. I was young, active, traveled with my family, and sported a full head of hair. Life was good. However, in early 94, I was diagnosed with an incurable blood cancer. I did everything, chemo, radiation, and a bone marrow transplant, remission, relapse, remission, relapse, and in September of 97, I was told that nothing more could be done for me. In November of 97, I began antineoplastin therapy at the Brzezinski Clinic in Houston, Texas. Stanislaw Brzezinski is the poster child for quack cancer cures. I went from terminal to cancer-free in 17 months. I spent the next five years wondering if I would live or die. I'm a newlywed. I just had a son. Could I hope to be cured? Surely my cancer would return and I would die a slow and painful death. In 2004, I had made up my mind. I would figure out a way to help cancer patients, survivors, and their caregivers. But how? Having spent all my money on a quack cancer cure, I would start a nonprofit. The Galen Foundation is a 501c3 private operating foundation, which means we raise money to support one program, People Beating Cancer, a free online cancer community. Why an online cancer community? Uh, why an online cancer community? A, a virtual gathering of cancer patients is an ideal application of Web 2.0 by encouraging cancer patients to interact with each other from the privacy of their own device. People beating cancer would distinguish itself by providing a deep expert practicing personal search on a case-by-case -case basis. A patient opinion leader, me, coupled with the wisdom of crowds, would raise PBC above all other online cancer communities. At this point, I need to clarify the role of cancer doctors. Oncologists are well-educated, hard-working clinicians. By law, oncologists can prescribe only those therapies approved by the Food and Drug Administration. All FDA-approved toxic therapies have negative side effects. My original cancer therapies, including chemo and radiation, made me more likely to die of a blood clot stroke or secondary cancer than of my original cancer. In a nod to Isaac Asimov, the three laws of people beating cancer are one, oncology is not high-tech or low-tech, and it is not traditional versus alternative. Two, cancer patients must know themselves, know themselves better than outsiders. Your oncologist and your caregivers are valuable resources, but you must be the final say. It's a cliche, but knowledge is power. Law three, lifestyle is more powerful than any drug. Less is more. Use surgery, chemo, or radiation sparingly only after making exercise, nutrition, and mental health your priority. What is the future of cancer e-health? My belief is that conventional oncology is working through the five stages of grief. Each oncologist is shaped by his or her experiences, age being the determining factor. First, denial. Most oncologists dismiss all forms of non-conventional therapy for lack of FDA-approved clinical trials despite dozens of peer-reviewed studies. Second, anger. There is nothing more unhealthy than your oncologist getting angry after you offer opposing ideas or studies. An angry oncologist may even fire you as a patient. Third, bargaining. Every cancer center is online with its own friendly, welcoming, well-produced, slick website. Unfortunately, these websites are invariably one-way information touting oncology as the expert. Four, depression. Cancer is about to overtake heart disease as the leading cause of death in the United States. Conventional oncology is the most depressing specialty in medicine today. Finally, acceptance. The American Cancer Society predicts that cancer deaths will double by 2030. Oncology will welcome wired patients in order to manage the workload. Therefore, market forces will push oncology to accept greater patient involvement. What is the future of people beating cancer? 
as volunteer organizations such as Cleveland Give Camp continue to provide development expertise to nonprofits, people beating cancer will provide increasing numbers of cancer patients with more and better tools to manage their cancer, leading to better, longer lives. Thank you for your time and attention. Yeah.